So this length here, this 20 millimeter, should be taken again to this point. I'm going to add the other 22 millimeter for the hole I mentioned before, for this hole here, <coughs> and that too taken to the point. Now I'm not joining the line all the way through the crate, I'm just joining the point up to the crate. This platform here is 12 millimeter. The 12 millimeter is taken directly on the vertical line. So let me finish let me finish this platform first. I've taken 12 millimeter on the on the vertical through length, take it to, to the vanishing point. That's the base of my crate. It will also go the other way around. Now, I'm going to include this hole here. This hole, I've taken the 20 and the 22 on the true length down here, and I've took them up to the crate. Now, they have to go up on the platform and then to the vanishing point. So, vertically up now. And then to the vanishing point. So those two lines should contain this true hole. Now I'm going to find the dimensions how back it is how retracted it is from the front. Another twelve millimeters that way and another twenty-two for the square. So I'm taking 12 millimeter on the true length and another 22 for the square. And again, the same exercise. You take it first to the point for the proportion. until you reach the crate then vertically up to get over the platform and then I'm going to connect it to the vanishing point and where it intersected the other two lines I found where the true hole is. You have to keep in mind that in this estimated perspective you get no parallel lines apart from the vertical lines. But no line would be parallel to the to the other for this square for example you get no parallel lines. They're all going to the vanishing point. So that's my true hope. Now I'm going to, to draw the back panel here. This back panel. I'll, I'll do this detail later, but I'm interested in the back panel. So the back panel is 31 millimeter retracted from this side and 88 minus 12 millimeter high. So it's going from here and it's going in 31 millimeter from there. The 31 millimeter should be taken again on the true length down here. That's 31. It's on the same line for the true for this through hole. So I've already connected it to the 
to the proportion point and I found where it is in the front of the crate. Once you've found the front of the crate, we have to go around the crate to find where it is at the back. So from here I'm going up on the front wall and back to the vanishing point. <coughs> so this 31 here is reduced to 31 millimeter on the proportional scale there. Now you can join that part. <coughs> so I have to go around the crate to find where it is. That piece of back there is 12 millimeters thick and the 12 millimeters is taken from down here 12 millimeters so it's true 12 millimeter down here you take it up for proportion as well again up to that point there P and I found where it is on the crate now take it vertically up and that 12 millimeters was reduced to that length now those 12 millimeters since they're going up to this point I'm going to go up towards the crate to the vanishing point and on the same line I'm connecting that point there. So that's the back piece or part of the back piece. So it really goes on like this. Any dimension you want to take, this 12 millimeter now. It's in the middle, it's 12 millimeter in the middle of this. So what we need to do is this 150 I'm finding the middle of it and it, since it's 12 millimeter I'm going to go 6 millimeter that way and 6 millimeter this way join it again to the, your proportional point until it meets the crate Now, a vertical line to find where it is. Now, the height of that has to be taken on this height. Now, it was originally 88 minus the 12 from here gives you 66 and minus the 36 from here which gives you 30 so it's 30 millimeters high from the platform I'm taking the 30 millimeter on the true length and connecting it That part is that part there. Now this piece here is 16 and 16, 32, 32 and 32, 64 millimeter thick. And again, I'm taking it from the midpoint, 32 this way. This is the midpoint on the through length, 32 that way, and 32 this way. Connecting to my P So this is the thickness of that 64 
and now vertically upwards to find on this I need this 16 millimeter and this 16 millimeter for that edge and that edge so again that 16 millimeter is taken on the true length down here so 16 millimeter and another 16 taken again to the top point which I'm using for the proportion and then from there taken vertically so you see what proportional scale does this 16 millimeter since it's closer to me appears much thicker than this 16 millimeter another 16 millimeter for the base which goes this the front part there you have it. Now these should go to the vanishing point backwards to finish off that edge. All connecting to this vanishing point. to find that point there. Parallel lines only for vertical points and this point goes to the vanishing. So this is edge here. Now all, all that needs to be done now is filling the edges and connecting them to their vanishing point. So where does this edge meet finish off? Finishes off where it intersects with this point going to the vanishing. See here, I've got another true hole on the other edge here. It's in the same position, so I could use the same distances to find that true hole. All you need to do is measure the 20 millimeter and the 22 now from this end. Take them again to that P, go up on the platform and you've found where that true hole is. Also, I need to find the back edge here where this finishes 
and it's 31 millimeter again as we did on this side 31 millimeter from this end 31 go up towards my P only up to the crate you go around and you find where it ends but well I can finish that quickly to the 31 up vertically and back to the vanishing point that's where it ends now this goes to my intersection there which gives that point and there's a perspective drive so the only thing I did different is from the usual way I, I teach this to my students is that this point was taken in the middle of this rectangle here instead of this point here but if you want to take that point it will be just just the same won't change much will just give you a, a bigger crate on this side slightly larger crate on this side slightly smaller crate on that side but it still give you a very good proportioned estimated perspective thanks and feel free to ask questions and comment in this video thank you